Now this part then we've got to solve this equation, find n. Now it strikes me that this is kind of peculiar actually that they gave us 55 times 40 rather than just working it out as 2200. So there must have been a reason for them to ask us to do this. Well, if you look closely, what you can see is that you can factorize the left hand side as n multiplied by n minus 15. Just pull out that common factor of n. And so that equals 55 times 40. Now, you'll notice that if you just put n equal to 55, you've got 55 here multiplied by 55 take 15, which is 40. So can you see that if n is 55, this matches up with this. So we can see that therefore n equals 55. How easy is that? Alright, so that's the value of n. However, if you didn't spot that method, then what you could do is, let's just write this out again, okay, let's just put or here, alright. What you could do is take this term to the left hand side because what we have is a quadratic equation and like all quadratic equations generally you would rearrange it into this form and make it equal zero with the aim of trying to factorize it. And indeed this does factorize. We've got a couple of brackets like so. We need an n here and an n there. And we're looking to make this last term here. And again it's very easy if we don't multiply these together and give ourselves the 2200 because what this reduces down to is a 55 here and a 40 here. And if you put a minus here and a plus here you'll get the last term when you multiply this out. You'll also get your minus 15n because you've got minus 55n and 40n. So that's going to be minus 15n. So you could approach it from this angle. So in the usual way we'd put each factor equal to 0. So we'd have n minus 55 equals 0 or n plus 40 equals 0. And from this equation if we add 55 to both sides we've got n equals 55. And in this one if we subtract 40 we've got n equals minus 40. But because this is an arithmetic series and n is the number of terms, you can't have negative 40 terms. So we could say that since n has to be greater than 0, therefore n equals 55. So you can see that if you use this method here, you've got this problem on the n, say, and it's just a lot longer. So as I say, this was unusual for them to do this, so obviously they were dropping a hint and we can hopefully pick up on that hint and get the solution this way. Okay, so that brings us now to the end of this question.